Guys, come on in. I'm going to show you what it takes to produce our show. This is the stage here at Blind. And this is where we shoot the school. Come on in. So this is the brains of the operation. I'm not referring to Andrew. I'm actually referring to the computer setup. Andrew, tell us a little bit about the software. What are we using here? All right, so we're using Wirecast to pretty much do everything. So uh, that's our video switcher. Right. How so many inputs can it take? And it do you can know? take up to four HDMI inputs, four SDI inputs as well. Great, and we can also um, have remote desktop pipe people in off the internet, right? Wirelessly. Wirelessly, yeah. that's awesome. So Ty set this up before he left, and so you can see the source monitor and then the record window, is that how it's called? Mm -hmm. So then if you want to switch to different cameras, like right now Matt's back there and he's pulling focus and checking everything. Um, right, so we can even input like video files to do like a show open. Okay, so that's a pre-recorded animation. That's what we're doing there. Or if you wanted to switch back to live camera and then fly in a lower third. And then that's what appears. Yeah, Ty made it super easy for us. Before we, we were running through so many different inputs and programs where it was just it was too complicated. It was kind of a hodgepodge of software and hardware trying to like stick together yeah. to produce something. Now it's all streamlined. Exactly. And, and he did a great job. It's running on a Wintel's machine here. So we push this in a little bit. You can see at the bottom, Wintel machine with some Blackmagic cards in the back. And I'll show you that in a second. And everything here is sent through the mixer. And uh, what brand is this? It's the, the Behringer Zenix QX1222, and it's a USB-driven mixer. So we're going to have the audio pipe in here. This is Jose's mic. You can see Jose's levels are down because he's one loud dude. There I am, kind of at normal. And then we have a boom for um, studio audience. Mm -hmm. So we'll swing around. Okay, so the, the audio is powered mostly by the Sennheiser wireless logs, and this is the EW100, and I'm wearing one right now, and it's clipped to my shirt. Anyway, so if we swing around the back here, and come around here, Aaron's behind the camera, watch your step, and we're just going to show you uh, a little peek at the hardware. Okay, so that you can see we have two HDMI cards back here, and if they're both Blackmagic cards, do SDI, four SDI ins, as Andrew mentioned, and then SDI outs. We don't really send SDI outs right now. And then, of course, we have a bunch of HDMI inputs going in there. And another Blackmagic product here to be able to send the signal back out to an HDMI monitor. And that's what we see when we're on set. So come around. Watch yourself. This is the set in the backdrop. First, uh, we have two camera setups usually. We have one here. This is camera A. And it's not on here right now because it's the camera that's being used to record what you're seeing. But this is locked off. This is the wide, the master shot. And over here is Matt. Matt's joining us for the summer as an intern. Uh, Matt's running. What are you running here, Matt? Right here. This is the Canon C100. And you're with you're the seventy to um, two hundred. Seventy to two hundred millimeter lens. The USM2 right here. This is our bad boy. We love this one because you can get in nice and tight. Really beautiful, soft focus, shallow depth of field. He's running this on a Manfrotto tripod, right? And we got a different head on here. What's the head that you have on here? The head is a 561. 561 BH. Yep. And the reason why we like this is because he can pivot, move the camera around, and oftentimes he needs to pick it up because there's we have limited resources here. He has to come in and reframe the shot. So he can adjust the height really quickly. And then say if he wanted to focus in on this cup, he can tilt down and keep it fairly steady. The key to using the monopod is actually not to try to keep it super steady. You let it breathe. So don't sit there and hold it. Otherwise, you're going to kill yourself and you're going to become really fatigued. Uh, and let's take a look at the lights, guys. So you can see back here, this is kind of uh, not the most professional backdrop, but it works for our purposes. There are sheets, and I think it's a Cowboy Studio thing that Ty put together for us. Behind that, you can see that there's a black velvet curtain and then green screen on that. So when we're doing green screen shoots here, that's what we're doing. We're pulling all this stuff away. And all this stuff is put up on C-stands and plastic PVC tubing. Above us, the things that are lighting the studio set itself are the Kino Flows. And they're amazing, beautiful lights. And we, we love those things. And there's a couple other lights here, or at least one more light. So we're using a lot of lights, probably something that you're not going to be using um, at your home studio. But since we're in the business, we, we, can, we need these pieces of equipment. So here's another KinoFlow bank here. And you can turn them down selectively and to, to progressively make the light less powerful. So the newest addition to our light source over here is the Cineo, I forget what, which one, this is the D, what is this one called? HS, oh, here we go. 
the Cineo True Color HS. And I love this because this is a remote phosphor light, very bright, super powerful, and doesn't consume a lot of energy. And it's the remote, remote phosphor because behind this, and I can't do this right now, is a bunch of blue LEDs. And there's a gel that slides in, and when it's hit with the blue LEDs, it excites the panel, and the, and the gel actually is the thing that's producing the light. It's really cool. And if you want to change color temperatures, this is daylight balance, you can take a tungsten one and drop it in and you have a whole different light. Pretty awesome. I love this company, Cineo. We had a problem with the initial power pack that we bought. These guys really stand behind their product. They brought one out right away and swapped it out for us. No questions asked. That's a company that you can believe in. And we, we love these lights. That's it for the studio tour, guys. Thanks for coming. You don't have to go, but you can stay here. See you later.